everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to be doing a full foundation review on the new hd liquid coverage from catrice this is a 24-hour matte foundation from the drugstore i did pick this up at ulta and i will be going into all of the details in a little bit but if that's something you're into make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because i do upload three times a week and that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff i'm posting also, I'm going to link a video up here with a giveaway I posted yesterday for my birthday. When you guys see this, it'll be a few days after that video went up, but the giveaway will still be live, so make sure to check that out to win one of four huge prizes. Like, it's almost, it's over $1,600 worth of makeup and skincare broken into four different prizes. So make sure to enter that, and let's jump right into the video. <music> Alright, so before we jump into the application, I am going to pull up prices and all that fun stuff. So once again, this is the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. It lasts up to 24 hours, mattifying with a second skin effect. I do have it in the shade Rose Beige 20. This retails for $10.99. I did pick it up at Ulta. It is available in 18 shades. It does look like it does go pretty deep, so it's not... It's not a shade range where 18 shades really only covers super fair to like medium. There are some much deeper shades. This is 20. It goes up to 90. So I do think that there's room for more shades in between. But as far as spreading the love across many different shade tones, I do think they did a great job. So let's jump into the application. All right, so my skin is already primed and we're going to jump right into the foundation. So like you guys saw, this is the... Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation claims to be a 24-hour wear, a matte finish, and a second skin effect. So that is a lot of claims. Now, I didn't see preferred method of application, so I'm going to grab a flat top kabuki brush and a sponge. We're going to try both and see what works out better. I swatched this in store just to kind of check the shade. That's it. Because it is a liquid, I am going to make sure to shake it first. So, as you guys can see... It is very liquidy. Actually, and yep, you guys can see it dripping. I am in the shade 20 Rose Beige. I'm going to start with a sponge just because I feel like that's going to be the better finish. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and start working that in. So right off the bat, this is pretty fragranced. I'm going to take a few more drops on the sponge just because it is, since it is so liquidy, it is kind of soaking into the sponge. So this might be a foundation to apply with a brush and then just finesse it with a sponge, but we shall see. So I'm definitely getting some really nice coverage. I do see a little bit of like beauty marks showing through, so I'm going to say that it is less of a full coverage and more of a heavy medium coverage definitely any place i put extra it is building nicely i'm going to try the other side with a brush definitely right off the bat much more coverage with the brush than with the sponge oh yeah much more coverage on this side it is looking a little bit heavier But you guys know, even when I use a brush, I still like to take a sponge just to finesse it. So we're just going to even the two sides out a little bit more. And then with my sponge, we're just going to even them out a bit. So with this, I would definitely recommend apply it with your brush and then finesse it with your sponge. All right, so after first application, no powder, no concealer, no nothing. It is a little bit on, it, it's definitely a skin-like finish. I think that this might be a hair light. I am going to hope because it's matte, matte foundations do tend to oxidize. So I'm going to give this a minute to dry down a little bit, and then I'll be right back, and then we'll get into concealer and all that other stuff. All right, so it has dried down a little bit. It is definitely not sticky, not tacky at all. Definitely more reminiscent of something that is going to truly be a matte foundation. Um, I actually think the shade works pretty nicely now that it's dried down a little bit. Definitely, you know, there's no concealer, so everything looks a little off. 
So I'm going to do my concealer on camera. I'm gonna be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal that I used a couple videos ago. I've been liking this. And I'm just gonna take, one thing I don't like is this applicator. I'm gonna take a little bit of this just in the highest point of the under eye. I did notice with this one when I tried it, a little goes a long way. But I do wanna see how this blends into the foundation and I am gonna take a sponge for that. So it definitely does look like the concealer is sitting on top of the foundation. So I think with this, I'm gonna want, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna add, I kind of just pulled off most of that concealer. I am gonna grab a slightly thinner concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. It's a little bit more liquidy and not quite as thick. So the one issue I had with that first concealer is it kind of felt, because it was such a skin-like finish on the foundation, it definitely felt like the concealer was sitting on top of the foundation rather than blending into it. So we're gonna try this again with a much more lightweight concealer, something that's a lot thinner, much better. All right, I'm gonna go blend this out and I'll be right back. So I know I said I was gonna tie up the rest of the face before I came back, but I did just finish lightly powdering and I just wanted to come back before I put everything else on just so you can see the skin. This was just a touch of concealer and the foundation. I'm definitely liking the finish. I took a little bit of my Cody Airspun powder, which is a really lightweight powder. It does have a little bit of pigment and coverage to it, which I do tend to like with more of these liquidy foundations just to set down a little bit. But all in all, I'm really liking the way this is looking so far. It's definitely a nice matte finish. I'm not getting a lot of radiance, which for me is desirable. So now for real, I'm gonna go tie up the rest of the face and I'll be right back. All right, so the face is done. I, the foundation has probably been on at this point about 45 minutes, because I did go have to do a conference call, but I am back and as of right now, everything is sitting really nicely on the skin. My pores don't look any more accentuated than they normally do. Everything is looking rather nice, so. There's a little bit of dryness and cracking in the two major lines I have. That's a problem that I do have with a lot of matte foundations because I am super oily and you'll actually notice, it's so weird, that it's going to crack and crease a little bit now. Then in about an hour or two when I start to get a little bit shiny, that will actually settle down and be a lot better. It's weird, like the one to, I wanna say the one to four hour mark is when my makeup tends to look the best. So I'm gonna go and we will hopefully have a couple check-ins today and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I am back. It has been about four hours and first check-in. We're definitely a little glowy, a little, I don't wanna say super oily, but uh, there's definitely some oils on my face. That being said, I think I really like this anyway. Here's the deal. Typically, a foundation like this, it is a little bit of like some settling into lines. It's definitely a matte finish. I feel like right now my face could use a little bit of powder, but all in all, for four hours in, this is not bad. And under normal circumstances, I would do like nine more check-ins, but my sister's in a play tonight and I'm going to see that. So rather than doing that, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finishing Powder, and I'm going to grab a small little brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder just to touch up the face because with a powder or with a foundation like this I don't mind powdering to touch up because I'm used to powdering to touch up when it comes to oily skin my skin is so oily that like there is no foundation alive that keeps me 100% matte zero touch-ups all night long like no matter what, I'm gonna have to touch up a little bit. But you see how a little bit of powder just brought this back to life? I definitely think that this foundation is gonna be a hit. I think what I like most about it is that because it's so liquidy and the dropper, if I have a foundation like the um, Tarte uh, Found Sealer, not enough coverage for me and a little too luminous, couple drops of this mixed in and I feel like this could help to transform other foundations that I may not love as much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.